Have you ever wanted a date picker in Excel? Something that allows you to visually input a date into a cell and not have to worry about getting the format correct? Here, I'm gonna show you how to use this beautiful date picker and I'm going to give it to you completely free so that you can use it in your workbooks. And the beautiful thing about this one is that it will send with your workbook. So if you send this file to somebody else, they will also have access to the date picker. And here I'm gonna show you how to use everything here in this window. Pretty self-explanatory though. And then I'm gonna show you how to choose which cells within the worksheet trigger the date picker. Because we can still edit all of these cells over here. It's not going to trigger a date picker. But then we go over here, double click it, and the date picker appears. And it does not have to be yellow. I did that just so I would remember. Click this cell here. But I'll show you how to control that in just a moment and how to control the date format as well. You can use whatever date format you want with this date picker. Now, before I get into it, make sure to download the file that you see here. It contains this date picker. That way, you will always have it. It's completely free. It's from teachexcel.com. Go to the link below this video and you can download it there. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is to show you what we've got in this date picker. So we can go through the months, we can go through the years. We can use the arrows to do it as well. We can select a date. If we then double click the cell with a date, we are going to be presented with that month, year, and the day highlighted. You can very quickly insert today's date like that. If you do not have a date in the cell already, double click, and it's going to automatically highlight today's date for reference. Now, the most important thing is really how to make the date picker appear. And that's very simple. The cell must be formatted as a date or it must contain a date. Let's go to home and let's go to number. We see date. Now let's change that to general. And I double click, no date picker. We change it back to a date. Double click, there we go. That's how you control where it appears. And it doesn't just have to be in one worksheet. It can be in any worksheet throughout the entire workbook. Here's a new worksheet, date input. This entire column is formatted as a date, this time a, a long date. So we go over here, let's tab it up, ASC-3. And for the date, double click. Let's go for the 10th. Perfect. Whatever format you use for the date for this cell is how it's going to appear in the cell. And if you want, what we could do, is have an insert date button as well. So we can click the cell, hit insert date, and there we go. That actually might be really useful for the invoice. If you have the button up here and it says insert due date or something like that, you click that, you get the date picker. I didn't think of that before I designed this workbook, but it would probably work really well there. And you can set the button so that it will not print when the invoice is printed or saved as a PDF. That's really easy to do. Now let's go to a brand new worksheet over here and I'll show you how easy it is. So this workbook already has the date picker integrated. It's saved, it is not an add-in. I can double click B3, nothing happens. Now let's set it as a date like we did on the invoice or worksheet. Double click, there we go. I'm sorry, I just really love this date picker. It's so great. And because it's stored in this workbook itself, it's going to always remain with the workbook when we send it out to somebody else. Now, how do you get the date picker in your workbook? I thought about going through all of the code for the date picker and showing you how to add it into your workbook. But the problem is that it is actually quite extensive. We have modules. We put some stuff in this workbook. We put stuff in many different classes. There is a, a lot of code. So what I've done instead to make this as easy as possible is made this workbook so you guys can download it. And then what you should do is simply move worksheets into this workbook that you would like to have access to the date picker. However, if you would like a date picker add-in, please let me know. It requires updating the code a bit and doing a few things a little bit different, but I could create an add-in from the date picker. The problem with the add-in is that it's only accessible to people who also have that add-in. So please let me know in the comments below if you want me to make this into an add-in or not. I'm not certain if it's worth it, but if it is, 
just give me a message and let me know. And then maybe I can make that for next week. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. And if you know any coworkers who might benefit from this, share it with them as well. It will really help us out. That's all for now. Thank you very much and have a great day.